in finding community and in all of your learning, what do you think was the most helpful tool for you when you were learning or the most important piece of information that you that you practiced? Um, I think you're just kind of doing it like a thousand times. Mm. I didn't quite, yeah, I didn't realize like how much practice it would take and just practice every element like melodies. I'm going to get good at that. Okay, then practice that for like <laughs> a few months and then drums and, you know. Were there any resources that you think um, new new producers could use that you found helpful? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's <laughs> uh, yeah, B stars, of course. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube, especially was really helpful starting out and seeing other producers, I mean, a part of the BeatStars community kind of share their insight and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's really how, helpful. How have you been able to build your community on BeatStars or your um, or your sales or things like that? What are some tips that you would have for, for doing that? I think my biggest tip would be like, just kind of make the music you want to make Mm. And everything else follows because I think I spent uh, a long time, like in the beginning, kind of doing what it, I thought at least people expected of me, mm. like doing a certain type of beat. Like, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time then kind of realizing maybe, maybe not what I want to focus on because I mean, at the end, it kind of got to like where I sat an hour to kind of figure out which 808 I wanted to use. And I, then when I realized like, maybe, yeah, maybe it's not for me. Like I want to do something different that kind of inspires me. Mm -hmm. 